Hello and welcome to the Harman Professional Experience Centre. When designing a professional sound system, there are many performance criteria a sound designer is looking to achieve, such as good frequency response, suitable sound pressure level, accuracy of reproduction, and the subject of today's video, speech intelligibility. For a recording studio, for example, might be an excellent acoustic environment for sound transmission, the vast majority of spaces, such as the room we're in here, all have their unique factors that could compromise speech intelligibility. Firstly, let us understand what speech intelligibility is. Simply put, intelligibility is a measure of how comprehensible speech is in given conditions. Some examples of poor intelligibility might be when the sound source is obstructed by an object, such as when you're having a conversation with someone who's on the other side of a closed window. It might also be having to listen to someone who is wearing a face mask. Another example could be listening to someone speak at a distance where you will hear less of the direct signal and more of the room ambience. To improve the intelligibility in these examples, the solution may be as simple as opening up the window, removing the face mask, or just moving closer to the person who's doing the talking. To provide an objective measure of speech transmission quality, we can refer to the IEC International Standard of Speech Transmission Index, or STI. The STI scale goes from zero to one and can be used to measure the entire transmission path, both acoustic and electronic, which means it also takes into account reverberation and background noise. Further information on STI is available via our Harman Professional Training site. Now, let's consider how three common factors can affect the intelligibility of a signal in a given space. Justin's gonna read a stock sentence and we're gonna bring those uh, factors into the mix and give you the opportunity to hear how the intelligibility is compromised. Let's have a listen to that signal nice and close up and clean. Designing a sound system is easy, isn't it? You just throw up a load of loudspeakers and the job is done. Hmm. What about if that signal was distorted? Designing a sound system is easy, isn't it? You just throw up a load of loudspeakers and the job is done. Or maybe there's a load of background noise. Designing a sound system is easy, isn't it? You just throw up a load of loudspeakers and the job is done. Or perhaps the site is particularly reverberant. Designing a sound system is easy, isn't it? You just throw up a load of loudspeakers and the job is done. Or, if you're really, really unlucky, all of these factors could be an issue at the same time. Designing a sound system is easy, isn't it? You just throw up a load of loudspeakers and the job is done. So, obviously, that is unacceptable in every way in any situation. But if this message was an emergency evacuation alert, it could actually be genuinely dangerous. So hopefully that's outlined some of the challenges that we commonly face with the acoustic space and the ambience that we find in it. What we're going to look at in some of our other videos is how we can address some of those challenges by using the right products. And we'll be introducing perhaps some alternatives to traditional point source loudspeakers where we'll be introducing the CBT column or, if things get really serious, the Intellivox. Thank you very much. Look forward to seeing you soon.